Welcome, welcome, TGIF. It's Friday, so we are going to reset the body, mind, and soul and recreate the serenity in our true peaceful self. So today's guided meditation, or I should say yoga nidra, uh, will be a 45 minute journey stepping into serenity. So uh, that'll be the guided meditation and I will be sending remote healing via Holy Fire Reiki energy. And of course, as always calling upon our angel guides, the archangels for healing, protection and guidance. All right, so if you are live with me now, go ahead and get your mat settled, lay down, place a pillow behind your head, behind your knees perhaps to take some pressure off your lower back. And um, if you have an eye pillow, so that all external stimuli disappears and you just focus on the sound of the music and the sound of my voice guiding you into serenity. So place the eye pillow over your head with perhaps some lavender for calming effect. Okie dokie, so let's get started. So as I let you get settled into the mat, go ahead and take a couple of deep breaths. In fact, let's take five deep, slow breaths. So focus on the next 45 minutes as your journey to healing and creating serenity, stepping into serenity and rebalancing the body, the mind, and the soul. One more deep breath. And now when you are ready, going to move right into progressive muscle relaxation. So let's start with the toes. Go ahead and point and flex those toes. Point and flex. Take a deep inhalation. And as you exhale, let go of any tension in the feet. to the lower legs, knees, and thighs. Squeeze those muscles tight. Take a deep inhalation. And as you exhale, let go of tension. Bring the awareness to the hips. Squeeze the buttocks tight. Take a deep inhalation. And upon that exhale, let go of tension. Allow the hips to melt into the ground. Take a deeper breath. Start from the belly, expanding as you inhale, expanding the abdomen. And now bring the inhalation up into the chest and rib cage. Hold at the top. And now big exhale, let it go. Out through the mouth, releasing all physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual tension. Focusing on releasing 
we are now going to take the deepest possible breath from the belly all the way up to the clavicle. Inhale deeply, belly, chest, rib cage, clavicle, hold, three, two, one, open the mouth, big sigh, let it go. Now, take the awareness to the hands, lift the hands up, squeeze, make a tight fist, Inhale, stretch those fingers out. Exhale, release and let go. Come to the shoulders. Lift the shoulders up towards the ears. Take a deep inhalation. As you exhale, let it go. Completely relax and let go. facial muscles. Squeeze and squint the face tight. Stretch the face, open the mouth, stick out the tongue, release and let go. Let go of the lower jaw from the upper jaw. Relax the lips, relax the cheeks, the nose, the eyes. Relax the forehead and the scalp. And now scan the body from head to toe for any remaining pockets of tension. Breathe into that joint space or muscle. And upon that exhale, let go of tension. Breathe in relaxation. Exhale out tension. Breathe in positive energy. Exhale out negativity. If thoughts randomly surface, Acknowledge those thoughts and then promptly release the thoughts. Clear them out. Any worries, to-do lists, thoughts of the past, see them as just that, random thoughts. You do not need to relive those thoughts. They are just memories them as passing clouds, one by one, until the thoughts are clear and the sky is blue. Envision a blue sky without any clouds, representing the mental clarity of peace and serenity. No distractions. thoughts, just enjoying the present moment of peace and serenity. So if this is challenging, actively focus on letting go, empty the vessel of the mind, and focus on the clear blue sky, that is your goal. clouds just distracting you 
So take a deep inhalation at this time. And now visualizing as you exhale, blowing those clouds away. And as this becomes easier and easier, you truly realize your higher self, your peaceful self, the soul within, the spark of the creator within you, the soul. It is an energy signature that animates the body in this lifetime. Identify the soul and envision this energy coming not from your brain, which creates the random chaotic thoughts, but rather the soul, the energy space within your heart, all four chambers of the heart, and see the soul as white light. And now see it expand like an exploding star across all four chambers of the heart, across the lungs, down the shoulders and arms, forearms, wrists, palms, and fingertips. See that light guiding you, entering the spinal cord, and envision that white light ascending up the spinal cord through all the energetic and physical pathways, ascending up to the brain and bathing the brain in white light, activating all the neurons, and now envision the neurons firing this white light energy, a higher frequency that transmutes and destroys all negative-based thinking all fear-based thinking, all habits that do not serve for your health, all thought patterns that come with the belief system that is outdated, all phobias, all anxieties, all depressive thoughts. See the white light transmute the darkness into light. See the neurons firing up all the proper channels and all those neurotransmitters firing up, binding to all the receptors to fully activate your brain and spinal cord, giving you the clarity, gifting you not only physical vitality, but mental and spiritual clarity. Vitality, clarity, and balance. See that white light descending down the spinal cord, reaching all the neurons to all the muscles and glands and organs and organ systems of the body. So that, in essence, your whole physical being is lit up with the light of your soul, the spark of the Creator, transmuting all imbalance, all pathology, all disease, back into balance physical homeostasis and balance, physical energy and vitality, emotional balance, mental clarity, spiritual balance, all aspects of your well-being. You 
as a human being connected to the creation is now filled with this white light, the light of your soul. And now just simply shed the layers. Let go of the physical, let go of the emotional, let go of the mental. And now connect to the energy signature of your soul. As we embark on the soul journey, stepping into serenity. But before we take this journey, let's call upon our guides, the archangels, for healing, for balance, and for protection. To the north, I call upon Archangel Uriel, Welcome for all who are here. Give us the healing, the balance, and protection on all levels. To the east, Archangel Raphael, I call upon you now for healing, balance, and protection. Welcome. Give us the healing, balance, and protection for all who are here at this time, physically and remotely. To the south, Archangel Mikael, or Michael, as you are known in the English language. Mikael, come forth, guide us, give us the healing, balance, and most of all, what you are known for, the protection, the spiritual protection. Create a bubble of protection for our aura and chakras and all our energetic systems and any negative energy that comes our way. Deflect and protect and transmute that negative energy into healing white light. Archangel Mikael, Give us the protection, the healing, and the wellness at this time for all who are here remotely and present. Welcome. And apparently he has made his presence known since the music is gone. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Mikael. I acknowledge your presence. upon you, Gabriel, or Gabriel in English. Gabriel, you are the messenger. You gave the good news and message to the Theotokos, Mother Mary, Mother of Christ. Gabriel, come into this space and give us the messages of intuition and guidance heal, balance, protect us at this time. For all who are here in this moment, in this space at the studio, and for all that are listening and healing remotely, welcome Archangel Gabriel. And I call upon God, Adonai, Yahweh, I call upon Yeshua, Jesus. You are the master healer for all who are in your presence healed instantly. May I be the vessel for healing. May I be guided by you always. I call upon the Holy Spirit, Sophia. And I call upon that holy fire energy. May it guide me May it move through me. May I be the vessel for healing. May I heal myself and then be able to heal others. Only through the energy of the Creator. I call upon all the guides and prophets that came before. And I call upon the teacher, the 
initiate that I am. I call upon the master Mikao Usui, the founder of Reiki. May I continue this legacy of healing, whether it is in person or remotely. May I gather that holy fire energy and be that instrument for healing. May it be so, and so it is. Metatron, Archangel Metatron, create the harmony as above, so below, here on earth. Make me the channel for that connection, third heaven. Take a couple of deep breaths as we begin our journey, our soul journey, stepping into serenity. Focus now and bring the awareness to your sacred heart. Your sacred heart is at the center of your chest. Notice the softness there. Take a moment to enjoy this feeling as you quietly focus in your heart. Follow your breath in and out as you connect with the heart. Bring yourself fully into your heart now. Bring the energy of your soul back to that sacred heart. As if you were standing there, now, inside a cozy room. Let your eyes adjust. And as you find this doorway, it seems to be calling you. I have blocked all calls. I don't know why that happened. So as you step into your heart space, breathe in and out. Find the doorway that seems to be calling you to enter. As you pass through the door, you find yourself walking alongside a mountain stream. It is a crisp fall afternoon. path you are on is well worn and has been many times before. People often come here to find comfort and peace. And this setting, the stream and this path have the power to soothe and heal even the most troubled mind. Let the sound of the stream fill you. It speaks to you in a language your body and mind can hear and understand. As you listen, it will bring you peace and healing. Take some time to simply relax. Walk alongside the path. Listen and be restored. Soon you come to a large, small space. A resting place. The place is cozy, but you notice a large, smooth rock. 
The space is enclosed with forestry. Trees surround you. It is a cozy space. But the large rock is calling you. You begin to walk towards it. And what you notice is a waterfall right behind the rock flowing down from the forest. Go ahead and lean up against the rock and watch the water flowing. And as you do, the water begins to turn into silver colored light. Let the light flow up into your feet, into your legs, your hips and up into your torso, moving through your shoulders, arms, neck, head, until it's flowing all through you. Let this silver light clear away any distress, leaving you calm, peaceful, and serene. Take some time in this space now. This is your place of serenity. And so if there is any situation in your life that causes you great distress, imagine bringing the sound of the stream into the situation. As you lay there against the rock, you watch the water flowing, reminding you of your life, the water flowing despite all the tiny obstacles of the rocks adapting and flowing. You see yourself as that water flowing. This is where the serenity and peace is achieved, flowing through the obstacles with poise and grace. And as you watch that water flow, it brings you a deep sense of peace and serenity, knowing that you can achieve that as well, flowing like water. Take some time to see this now and listen to the following affirmations. I am letting go of anything that might disturb me and allowing serenity to come forward into my mind. Serenity is always available to me and I wield my mind and train my mind to easily experience it. Peace is a natural state of being for me and I settle down into it easily. All disturbances are temporary illusions on the surface of my mind, and they sail away as I connect to peace within. Take some time to absorb these affirmations and be open to receive the holy fire Reiki energy.
that you have slowly absorbed the positive affirmations, laying by the rock and watching the water flowing. You decide it's time to take the journey back. So you gently come up, stand, and walk away from that sacred space, the large rock surrounded by tall trees. You say goodbye to the stream, and you thank nature for all its wisdom, for here's where you became your true self, rebalancing and recreating the true serenity within you. And as you notice the stream behind you and the large rock, stepping away, you walk along the path in the forest Notice this is no ordinary forest, but a magical place of healing and transformation. Step into this place, a mystical forest, and you notice first thing as you look down, crystals surround you on the ground. Very old oak trees welcome you. You notice the crystals are a dark red. You immediately recognize it is garnet. All these crystals, garnet crystals surround you. Soles of the feet, bay energy, making you feel more grounded and connected to the earth beneath you. Continue walking and you slowly discover the stones change color and the crystals that you see now are a burnt orange, carnelian. See that beautiful orange color absorbed through the soles of the feet absorbing that energy signature of that crystal, giving you the fertility of the ideas within you come to manifestation. You have moments of clarity and you thank the forest for you are gifted that energy signature of inspiration and guidance to manifest all thoughts into reality, the energy and fertility of ideas. Thanking the forest, you continue walking along the path and you discover yet again the crystals changing. And here in the middle of the forest, the color changes to a beautiful yellow. The color of the crystal is a golden yellow. And all around you, you notice citrine is the crystal. The merchant stone, the stone of good fortune, bringing forth prosperity, courage, and strength. Thank the forest, for you are gifted that energy signature, the strength and vitality activating your solar plexus. Continue walking in the forest, emerald green, emerald stones all around you. Your heart is filled with love as you enjoy the dark green forest that surrounds you and the emerald crystals beneath your feet. Absorb that energy signature, opening up the heart chakra.
feeling deep love for self and others, for the creation and the creator. You thank the forest and continue walking. And now you notice the beautiful blue color, lapis lazuli. The crystals are all around you, this royal blue Absorb this energy signature through the soles of the feet, opening up your throat chakra so that you hear and speak what's on your mind with authenticity and clarity. You are gifted this beautiful asset of being able to communicate with the outer world. You thank the forest and continue walking. The path now changes color. It is purple all around you. And you notice the stone, amethyst. You absorb that beautiful purple, deep purple color through the soles of the feet. Opening up the third eye, connecting you with source energy. Thanking the forest, you reach to the edge and notice all pure white crystal quartz, a beautiful translucent, transparent crystal quartz, and the light of the sun, the energy, creating rainbows all around you. Here on the bed of crystals you lay, go ahead and lay down on all these clear crystal quartz crystals all around you. The highest frequency of energy. No other crystal has this energy. Absorb that energy, connecting your heart chakra to your crown chakra and to source above you. Stay here a few more moments to heal and absorb that energy. Call in your guides, the archangels, and perhaps your ancestors and spirit guides that come to you. Allow them to heal you. slowly take your journey from this sacred space back towards the door that you first opened to enter this mystical place it is the door within your sacred heart open the door Find your soul back into the four chambers of your physical heart. Allow yourself to realize that this is your sacred space. Not the mind and not other portions of your body, but simply the heart space all you need to do is reconnect each time so that you may step back into serenity. Enjoy this place within your heart and may it always guide you to serenity.
this deep journey back into the body. Wiggle the fingers and the toes. Stretch the arms and the legs. Yawn if you need to. And turn over to the right or to the left side as I read to you from the book Angel Numbers by Kyle Gray. And I came upon the number 379 as I opened the book earlier. And this is a reminder. Hopefully it resonates with some of you out there. Reconnect with your power. Remember who you are and what gifts you have. Know you were born to shine. I do hope you enjoyed this practice with me as I shared my sacred space with you and uh, wanted to apologize. I always put in the settings, um, I don't know what happened, but uh, receive calls from no one is always the button that I press when I do my guided meditations, but apparently the phone rang. Um, sometimes these scammers get through and it was definitely an unidentifiable number. Um, in my career since 2008 is when I first started teaching yoga. Um, this has only occurred twice, so I'm, a, I'm on a pretty good roll. So again, I apologize that this happened. This was the second time that it happened. So I'll double check my phone so that next week um, we'll have perfect peace and quiet, only the sound of my voice and music. Again, I hope you enjoyed the remainder of the practice after that determined um, and distraction. Uh, but it just reminds us to always realign and refocus and bring us back into serenity. All right, I'll see you next time. Take care and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.